Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today we have something really fun to share with you. It's gonna be a process, so it'll probably be over a few different days, but we are building a chicken tunnel. You heard that right, let that sink in for a second. Cause when he first told me we were building a chicken tunnel, I was like, what in the world does that mean? I definitely thought he meant like underground tunnels, but it's kind of like a chicken maze. Anyway, I'll show you the whole thing but this is gonna be really fun for them and just like a cool addition to our yard. So let me flip this around and show you guys what Heath has been doing out here. So here's our chicken coop. <laughs> You've seen it before and not too much has changed. Heath actually did add some roofing and this side um, kind of a blackout because it does get very sunny and to help with rain so it's kind of just a little bit of a new addition to help them be a little more secure when they're out in their run. But anyway, we're talking about the tunnel, which has started right here. So Heath is starting um, now to work on the door where it's going to be. But what he has up so far is starting at the coop and it's going to run around the yard just up against our fence. And this is so that they can run and play and I'll show you, I'll bring you along for what he has so far. Um, they can peck at the weeds and the ground and any bugs or anything and just give them a little more activity. And so far it goes all the way to the back of the kid's tree house, but I believe he's going to keep it going along here and all the way over to where we're growing our plants over there. But how funny is this? So they're gonna have all of this extra space to kind of run and it's gonna keep them secure from predators if we are not here during the day um, or we're inside or doing something else, they can kind of play and run. So we have had hawks circling above our house and we know that they are most likely watching our chickens run around because we've seen them doing it while the chickens were out in our yard with us. And so this is a way that Heath decided is a great way for them to run around, but without any threat of getting scooped up by hawks. So since it is completely protecting them from anything just coming down and swooping them up, it's gonna be great. They can use it all day. And yeah, it's just gonna be a really good option for them to get some exercise, get some fun, um, keep them entertained. And then of course, let them eat a little bit of things around the yard too. Um, however, they won't sleep in it or anything. So that is what Heath is working on next, which is a door situation so that we can close it off at night so that they stay in their coop and they stay in their hen house at night. Here's just the beginning steps of it. He is going to eventually, I believe, cut something out here. But of course, I will show you as he does that. And then we also have plans to enclose underneath this section of the hen house so that they have even more space to run around. But he saw this idea on someone else's YouTube and it just looked like so much fun. I know our chickens are gonna love it cause they just love to run around, peck all these weeds and plants. So I think that they're gonna really enjoy it. Are you guys excited for your tunnels? You have no idea. They said, what? They're so funny and they always look confused. But they love going under stuff. Look, they always just flock to go under things. It's kind of like little kids. You know how they just like love to crawl and build and be underneath stuff. So I definitely think they're gonna like going through it. Yeah. Pepper found a way into the tunnel already. Look at you, girl. She's like, what is this? <laughs> You got a big hole to get out. You're gonna be okay. And we can do... Mm. And he's using all leftover stuff. So all the wood is scraps from other projects and things we've done around our yard or the coop. And then all of this stuff that he saved from projects as well. So he's able to reuse the hardware and the wood. So I gotta take parts off stuff and throw away. Yeah, he you keeps need. everything. <laughs> but it's good when you're always doing projects and then it is going to transform into a door. And he just told me that this chicken wire he actually found, what, on the side of the road? Mm -hmm. When he was riding his moped around town. 
So pretty much free project, I think. Besides, I mean, besides the stuff you bought for the tunnel, but for the door. I'll do it that way so the kids don't hoop through. Keith is getting the chicken wire from their original coop siding cut out of that doorway so that obviously they have an exit. This door is now secure and he added a little lock. So great job, babe. All this just leftover stuff. Well, they're officially playing. I think all of them, all but one. I think all but one are in there now. They found their door. But it's not done yet, so they can't leave them in there. Now. The oh, they're all in. Nice. See so that? we're paused on the um, chicken tunnel project for now, but he brought home a bunch of oyster shells and chickens need some sort of shell or rock or oyster to get their calcium, which helps them make their eggs. So he collects them when he goes out fishing, smashed them up, and then we're able to Feed them to the chickens like you a little heat snack. Them up first, though. Oh, heat them up to kill off all bacteria. bacteria. And it's to make their eggs strong. Yep, to egg help shells. make their eggshells strong. Another day working on the chicken tunnels, and Heath and Rylan have been out here putting it through the back, behind the chicken coop, and all around the underneath. We're making one under here too. That's gonna be so cool. Do you think they'll have fun? Look at this progress. They've done such a good job. So now the chickens have underneath their coop as a little bit extra run coming from their tunnel back here. Let's see. Yeah, so it loops all the way around from the back, underneath their coop. And guess what? What? If you go inside the chicken coop, this is like the door, so You could go in and it goes that way, but my dad's making the dead end. Yep. And then you could go this way and go this way and go under the chicken coop. That is so cool. They're going to love that. Hello. Hi. It's hot. My name is Walt. Walt Longmire. It's very hot out. Nice job. Hey, Daddy, you haven't done one water. He finished up the chicken tunnel and... Hi, Aspen. Yay! <laughs> Yay! And they're already playing in there. Huh? Oh, they're trying to get through. They're trying to figure out how to get through. They gotta go through the tunnel. Look, Rylan will show you. <laughs> Here, I just dumped that. Go, go through. Oh, no. Well, these ones found their way underneath. Let me zoom it out. Underneath the... Uh, hen house. So this is all enclosed now, which is awesome. It was just storage for us before, but now they can play under there too, and it's shady. That's so really, really nice. There you go. Now, Aspen, you can watch them closer. There they go. These ones are just playing inside their coop still. But I love that they have that other enclosed area now. That's like really big spot, but. So like we said earlier in the video, it goes all the way down behind the kids' playhouse. It goes all the way over. I think we left off with it right here. So now all of this is added, the whole corner, and then it goes behind our plants here and ends right before we're growing a bunch of plants over here. So they kind of got a dead end, but there's plenty of space to turn around. But we'll have to keep you guys updated on how they like it and how it's working out for us. We definitely um, wanted more places for them to entertain themselves, get a little energy out. It's good for chickens to do something different, keep them happy. But also, um, Heath has another 
motives. So behind all of this stuff behind here and the coop that we built and all of that, it is hard to weed and get a weed whacker in. And our chickens love to eat up all the little weeds in the yard anyway. So we're actually thinking that as they come through here, they probably will keep eating and keep the weeds down a bit too. So that'll be good overall for the yard. So all in all, we're hoping this will be a good little playground for them. Good job, babe. Super fun. So it has been a few days. Actually, I think it's been like a week since we made the chicken tunnel and I wanted to give a little update. They are loving it. So anytime we go open it, they always hop on in. Let me show you them now. So we've been leaving the door open. I know it's hard to see through the wire, but we've been leaving the door to it open so that they can go throughout the day and then at night we just close it up. So, so far it has been a great little investment for them. You can even see there's like hardly any plants back there. Just like we thought that they would eat all of the weeds back there. Actually those ones in that corner are completely gone now and there was quite a few. So as they grow, they'll have more to munch on. Right now it is ending or it's coming towards the end of the night. So they're all kind of heading into their coop naturally. And then when they go in their hen house at night, we close up their little door in there and they go to bed and the next morning we open it up for them. So overall it's been really fun. We'll keep you guys updated, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. So thanks for watching. Bye chickies. Bye-bye.